Well, here we are. It's May 7th, 2014, and they've started work on the pool. This is just after we repaired the uh, crack in the deep end, and we lowered the, the pool water level so that they could remove the coping. Um, here we see that he's taking it off very carefully as to not disturb the tile because some of the bids that we had were from contractors that said that they'd have to replace the tile and we didn't really want to do that because it was a five thousand dollar charge to to replace the tile so we found this contractor and they said that they could do it without replacing the tile so they were very careful in removing the coping all the way around the pool and um, made quite a mess for a while the, the pool water was drained down to, so that there was just water in the deep end. And uh, right here we see a close-up of exactly how deep the coping was. The coping uh, was about two inches thick. Each slab that was two feet long was two inches thick. And there were right around 98 pieces all the way around the pool, 98 coping slabs. But this time, the, uh, the coping slab pieces are out of date. And so we're going to be pouring new concrete to form the coping. And here we have uh, the, the patchwork that was done earlier in the year. Uh, a month prior, we had to let it sit for a while so that it would cure to about 50, 60 percent. And uh, so we had to keep water on it. Now, when I came out the first time to see what kind of work they were doing, uh, I was shocked at the amount of damage that was caused just from the end loader, the cat coming in to remove the, the concrete slabs, the decking um, all the way around the pool. They, um, they have a job to do, and uh, to get the job done, they have uh, certain things that they have to do, and they need access and right away to everything, but um, I didn't expect them to knock over the gate and uh, tear up the secondary concrete you just saw right there. Um, as I'm walking around the pool, it looks like a disaster and uh, the first day that they came out to replace it they were pretty care uh, to take out the coping of uh, the uh, slabs they, they were pretty careful but the second day a different operator came on the cat and uh, it was a younger kid and uh, he just was a rip at it type of guy and uh, destroyed a lot of the concrete sections that should have been left alone so um I was going around inspecting uh, how they had done the work, and uh, there's the front gate right there. They just ran over that pole and removed the gate and just to get that uh, cat in there. They also tore up some of the grass that we had there uh, next to the pool house. The couple, uh, about a week later, they came in with heavy equipment and they put stone down. They have three truckloads of stone that were delivered. And uh, the cat would uh, bring the stone in and they would lay the stone on top of the area where they took out the concrete decking as uh, a support base for the concrete that was, uh, that was coming in. The work went really fast uh, once they got the concrete truck there everything was um, timed out very well uh, they had everybody working very hard putting the uh, the skimmers in there's um, our contractor right there and he's putting the skimmer in and trying to mark it so that uh, the top of the skimmer would be in line with the newly poured concrete um, the concrete Subtract a uh, subcontractor that was hired by our a pool contractor is there in that um, um, a mini cat 
and he's dumping more stone around the pool while the other workers are putting in a form. It's a Stegmeier form that adheres to the tile all the way around the pool and they have um, and they put two by fours and then they after they put the the form all the way around the pool and they put the two by fours in then they pour the concrete into the coping area to form the concrete uh, concrete coping so they had a country a concrete truck outside all the time constantly mixing and uh, new trucks were arriving uh, every couple hours to supply them more now here they're smoothing out the the coping, the freshly poured concrete. Um, we also had an additional um, imprint put on the coping. It's a stamping that they put on top of the coping to give it a texture. And uh, here is the grounding grid and bonding uh, that was put all the way around the pool. Um, so there's this metal grid goes all the way around the pool and then they have a six gauge copper wire that they string around the pool and they connect it to each and every metal handrail and ladder so and then at the end they have a, a, a ground point that grounds all the metal objects around the pool to prevent any kind of shock that would uh, be caused by the potential of voltage difference between the metal and the water. Here the uh, they're getting ready to pour the the concrete for the decking and uh, that's really a messy job. Those guys are in there with uh, boots and uh, they're just kind of s smoothing the concrete out and uh, getting it level and and it's a, a really sophisticated process and takes a lot of teamwork to properly uh, perform this process. You can see some of the concrete decking that has already been uh, smoothed out and poured and at this corner of the pool is where they started. You can see the the beginning of where they started right there and they're working their way around the pool um, right here we have a, a, a detailed uh, view of what they're doing to smooth out from the pouring all the way through to the uh, to the final process where they actually smooth it out They've got one, two, three, four, five, and then six guys plus the guy that brings in the, uh, the, the concrete. Here it is at the end, and they're putting the final touches on the last bit of cement that had to be poured. And uh, this is at the end of the day. They did this whole project uh, of pouring the concrete on both the coping and the decking in one day. Um, I think it had to be that way. So they were just looking for a window of good weather so that they could do the whole job in one day because they just can't come back and have a two-part while it, once the concrete is poured it has to be smoothed out and smooth transitions between each one of the slabs can only be done while the concrete is is in a workable fashion. Here's the end of the project and they're taking pictures of uh, the work. It's a big pool, it's a 40 by 60 pool and so this is a big job for these guys and it's a lot of work, believe me. There's the uh, a look, an overview of the pool decking all the way around and we didn't replace the outer decking portion and we're saving that for uh, another time.
The reason we chose the inner portion to do it is because the old coping was two inches and the new coping was three and a half inches and it would have left a one inch ledge all the way around. We didn't couldn't have that. So they taper up the decking to meet the new coping. Here's the finished pool right here. Uh, this is the day before the opening on June 13th and uh, looks pretty good and um, a lot of work and uh, we're really proud of our Stonehenge pool and uh, we got there's the pool house and we planted some grass seed in the areas that they tore up with uh, all the cement trucks. Here's the opening day. Thanks for watching.